Alexa, turn on Comedy Central. Okay. Alexa, turn on NBC. Okay. Alexa, turn on ABC. Okay. Hey guys, Steve here. Today I'm going to show you how you can control your TiVo using Amazon Echo and a Raspberry Pi. So this will work on any TiVo. I've had it set up on my TiVo Bolt and I currently have it set up on my TiVo HD. Now there are five steps I'm going to walk you through and how to set all of this up. So the first thing we need to do is set up our TiVo. And what we need to do is change a setting to allow it to be controlled over a network connection. That way our Raspberry Pi can control it. So the Raspberry Pi is going to tell it into the TiVo and tell it to change its channel or it can be used to send other remote functions into the TiVo. Now setting up this connection will not hurt your TiVo. If you were to send a command that the TiVo doesn't know, the TiVo would just ignore it. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to set it up on a TiVo HD and a TiVo Bolt because those are the two systems I currently have. So let's go ahead and we'll hit the TiVo button on our remote. We'll go down to settings. We'll go to settings again. And we'll go to remote cable cart and devices. And then go down to network remote control. And then we'll go to enable. And if you read this, it tells you you need to press the thumbs up three times. And now it's all enabled. On the TiVo bolt, we're gonna hit our TiVo button. We're gonna go down to messages and settings. And we'll go down to remote cable cart and devices. From here, we'll go down to network remote control. And we'll go allow network based remote controls. And that's it for the TiVo bolt. So now that our TiVo is set up that we can control it remotely, let's talk about our code. So the code that I have is FOMO. Now I did not write this code, I just modified it to my TiVo situation. And what it is, it actually creates a fake Wemo device. Now a Wemo is like a belt, is made by Belkin, it's actually one of those smart outlets. This is not a Belkin, this is a generic one, you can watch that video about this. Um, but it, it turns your Raspberry Pi into a fake Wemo device so that you can turn things on and you can turn them off. That's the only thing the software can do. So since it's a Raspberry Pi, we can control it basically to do whatever we want as long as we have the right code. So I'm gonna show you how to set it up on the TiVo. So everything I'm gonna be showing you is in my GitHub and it has the detailed instructions that I'm sharing with you today. So make sure you check that out, link in the video description. I'm gonna assume that you already have your Raspberry Pi set up. We're gonna skip all those steps to make this video shorter. So I actually built this on top of RetroPie, the little video game, uh, application, but it should work on any Raspberry Pi installation as long as you are running Python. Now Python is a programming script and we'll get into that and I'll show you how you can check to see if Python is actually running on your system. So let's go ahead and we're going to SSH into our Raspberry Pi. Now right away we're going to see if Python is actually running on our Raspberry Pi. So all you have to do is just type Python, not Python 3, just basic Python. And when you do that, it's going to bring up our current version that we're running right here. So to get out of the screen, now that we know that Python is running, we're going to hit um, Control and D. And that actually exits out of that. Now the next thing we need to do is, as long as our Raspberry Pi is connected to the internet, we're going to download our code from the GitHub. So type git clone HTTP s colon slash slash github dot com slash shiraki2 which is my account and alexa underscore capital t i capital v o dot git now it downloaded all of our code and it's done so now we can switch into that and change directory into alexa underscore T, capital T, I, capital V, O. Now if we were to do a list here, we'll see that there are a bunch of files that were downloaded. Now there's two that we need to modify, TiVo list one and TiVo list two. Now we need to change these codes so that it match your channel situation where you live. Uh, how it currently is set up now are the channels in my neighborhood, so you need to modify these ones. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna type sudo nano TiVo underscore list one dot pi. 
Now, if we start going through here, at the very top, just gonna see the section right here where it says GPI ports. Now, this was older code that I modified that actually controlled the, T the GPIO ports on the Raspberry Pi. I only modified this section so I didn't have to modify everything. So right here, um, we're just gonna start listing our channels. Now, if you see ABC right here, this is channel 768 in my neighborhood. NBC is 782. So all the channels that are listed under 1000 are normal channels. If you look up here, TiVo pause, I just number this 1000. And that is just has to do with my code. You can actually change any of these. If, if you don't ever watch CBS, you can change it to something else. You can put it on HBO or something like that. But these are just channels that I had it set up. And then down here when it says triggers, you're gonna change these exact same names here. If, so if you change any of these names from this section above, if you change any of these ones right here, you're gonna to have to modify this section under the triggers to match the same thing. Now these numbers, these 550,000 numbers, don't even worry about any of these ones. So go ahead and modify these how you want to. So you'd, you'd have to use your cursor. Go 784, that's what it was. You're done in this program, so you can hit Control and X to exit out, and you'd save it if you need to be. And then we're gonna do the same thing for list two. And just like before, you're gonna have them all right here. Now look at this one in particular, VH1. Obviously this isn't how VH1 spells it, but if you're talking to Alexa, you want her to be able to understand your words. So spell things out if you need to, like VH1, so that she knows what you're actually talking about. So in that section before, change the channels if you need to. Right here, right here, right here. Change any of the channel listings that you, if you don't want them, if you don't have WGN in your area, get rid of that one, change it to something else. Or just leave it, it doesn't matter. And just like at the top, if you modify any of the channel names, modify them down here in this section that says triggers. Now when you're done with this, you're gonna do the exact same thing, hit Control X to exit out of it, and you're done. And then finally we're gonna do a sudo nano capital T I capital V O dot pi. Now this program will be a combination of TiVo list one and TiVo list two. So if we go down to this section where our GPIO ports are, you'll see everything from list one and everything from list two listed all together. So we're gonna combine all these so the, the match list one and list two. So just go ahead and change everything accordingly. And just like down here in the triggers, you're gonna to wanna to modify this list as well. If you made any changes to the names, go ahead and change them now. Now also on here, you're gonna go down a little bit further and you're gonna find a section right under the trigger section you're gonna see our TiVo IP address. Now, I have assigned my TiVo a static IP address, and I highly recommend you do that if you're able to, because after a while, your TiVo is gonna get a different IP address from your router. So, if you don't set it up, you'll have to go through and you'll have to modify this code at a later date when, you need to, when your TiVo is not responding to the Raspberry Pi. So if you can, change this to a static IP for your IP for your TiVo. And if you can set a static IP for your Raspberry Pi, that is highly recommended as well because that way um, the Alexa will always be able to find your Raspberry Pi on the network. When you modify all that, you can hit Control X to exit out of that. So there's a reason why we use these actually three files to set up the Raspberry Pi instead of just one. Now, when we ask Alexa to look for devices, when she looks for our fake Wemo devices, our Raspberry Pi, She's only gonna look for 20 seconds. Well, 20 seconds is not enough time for the Raspberry Pi to go through 24 or more devices. She only has enough time to look for 12. So we set these up in groups of 12. TiVo List 1 has 12 devices in it. TiVo List 2 has 12 devices. If you wanted to have a third file, you can put another 12 devices and another 12 devices. You just need to create separate programs for them. So what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna run these programs one at a time, TiVo List 1, TiVo List 2, and then TiVo is the big program that runs everything. We're gonna run TiVo List 1, we're gonna tell Alexa to look for devices so that she finds those 12 devices. We're gonna close that program. 
We're going to run TiVo List 2, have Alexa look for those 12 devices, she finds them, and then when that's done, we'll close that program, and then we'll finally run the TiVo program, which will run all 24 devices. Now we can run that TiVo device because we're not actually going to ask Alexa to look for new devices, so it doesn't matter. She's just going to run the big code that we need to actually change the channel, and she can control all those things. It's only a problem when she's looking for devices because of that 20 second window that she gives us. And type Python TiVo underscore list one dot pi. Now what it did is it registered all the devices so it's ready for the Echo to look for. So there's two ways we can do it. We can either talk to the Echo or we can do it through the phone app. So I'm just going to show you right now how to do it through the Echo. Alexa, look for devices. Starting discovery. This will take up to 20 seconds. If you haven't already, please enable the smart home skill for your smart device from the Alexa app. Now if we were to look at our computer, we'll see that, that the Raspberry Pi is currently responding to the TiVo. I found 12 new devices. She found 12 I new devices. Turn off ABC. Now that we've run TiVo list one, let's do it to TiVo list two. Let's go ahead and we'll hit control C and that'll interrupt our program. Type Python space TiVo list one, just change this to two and run the code. Give her a second. Now she registered all these new devices and she's waiting for the echo. So now say Alexa, discover devices. Starting discovery. I found 12 new devices. Now we have 24 say, new devices. Turn off VH1. Now that we've run TiVo list two, now we can run the big TiVo list. So we'll hit control C to exit out of this program. And we'll just type Python TiVo.py. Give her a second. Now she has 24 devices and she's waiting to listen. So that is the basic setup. Now the way that we are running this right now is we are SSHing into the Raspberry Pi and we're running our code. If we were to break this connection, this uh, SSH connection with the Raspberry Pi, it'll actually shut down our program. But we want this program to run every time that the Raspberry Pi boots up. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. With our program running, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit Control C to exit out of this program. And we are gonna type um, sudo nano slash etc slash r rc dash loco. Now this is a program that will run every time that the system boots up. Even headless, that even if you don't have a monitor hooked up to it, this program will run. So if we just go down to the very bottom, and I've already entered this code, but we're just gonna type the exact same thing that we've been doing, minus this little hashtag. So right before it says exit zero, we're gonna add this line right here. It says sudo python slash home slash pi slash alexa underscore tivo slash pi and then at the very end we need to add this ampersand if you do not put the and sign at the very end it's going to run our code and it's just going to stay there it's not going to run any other code on the raspberry pi so it's very important you add the and symbol at the very end of this line otherwise no other programs will uh, will start up on your system because it's just going to focus on this program that we've written. So after you put in pseudo Python home slash pi slash blah, 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 we can hit control X and we can save it. So before I reboot the system, I'm gonna show you how this program works. So let's go ahead and just type Python tivo.py. Our code is running. Now I'm gonna say, Alexa, turn on Comedy Central. Okay. So she's responding to an on command for Comedy Central. And at the very end here, it says she changed the channel to 754. Now, if we said, Alexa, turn on NBC. Okay. Exact same thing, respond to an on command for NBC. Channel changed to 782. So when we type sudo reboot, it's gonna reboot the Raspberry Pi and it's automatically gonna start that list of 24 devices that we have running. So if at any time, uh, after it reboots, you can SSH into it, and then you can modify your code some more. But if you modify the code with the channel numbers and all that, you're going to want to reboot the system again so that it updates that channel list. Well, that is it. That is how to control your TiVo using an Amazon Echo and a Raspberry Pi. Make sure you check out the video description down below. It will be a link to my GitHub with all the written instructions on how to do all these steps. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and I will try to answer them. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Laters.